This is our gen documentation system where we can visualize the DNA we have run in our agarose gel. So here we can see this WL denotes the white light. Right. So we have opened it and from here we can switch on the power. This is green button, this is off and this is on. So when white light is pressed here the chamber illuminates. Hmm? Then we can pull this board out and this is our egg rose gel which we have run earlier and we will now place this gel on this black surface. Black. It is made of glass and the borders are made of steel. So here we have put the egg rose and we have to keep in mind that there should be no bubble trapped below the egg rose. So you can see there is no bubble. So we will now push this inside and we will close the door. Close the door. Now coming to the computer system. We, this is quantum. Quantum is the name of software used for gel documentation. So we will double click it. So this is the user interface of software. Now we will put here for manual exposure. And here we can set the, uh, set the time of exposure to for UV. So for viewing the agarose gel, we generally set 360 milliseconds of exposure. Now coming to the machine, we will now switch off the white light and we will put on the UV and we will start the exposure. So here we can see the we can see the gel. The black band which is coming is of the vis is a, is the visualization dye which we have put with sample to load the sample or to see till where our uh, 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 product has been run in the gel. And the band with the shiny bands are the PCR or DNA bands which are visible here. And we have loaded all the products and in this you can see there is no band. So it means that this 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 product is this PCR has not come or the DNA is not amplified and all the other sample in all the other samples DNA is amplified or the PCR has come. So we will now st stop the and we can save it for further reference. In our computer. Now, <clears throat> here is the caution sign. If anything is wrong, if anything is wrong or not okay, then this light will blink. Yeah. And now, so we have switched on the UV light, and in this machine, there is sensor as UV is dangerous for our system and we should not get exposed to it. So, when we will Accidentally, if we open this chamber, then this machine can sense that the gel dog system has been opened. So it will automatically, it will automatically switch off the light. Although we have pressed the UV light. So when we will close it, it again brightens or illuminates. So now we will close it. Just to show you, if we will, if the chamber is opened or how gel is visualized in open UV light. We can see it. See. This is the, or the orange part is showing the ETBR stained agarose gel and from the and you can see the see can how UV eliminates the gel. Now we will remove the, as we have visualized the gel, we will now remove it and this is how we remove our gel. We put it in again in the tray if we have to run it uh, for some more time.
so this is how we remove it so the gel does not get damaged so we will put it aside and now we have to clean the surface so we are using 70% alcohol to clean our surface so that our surface is clean and we will now put it back or not so now 